There's nothing quite like a gooey chocolate brownie with a scoop of vanilla ice cream for dessert, or just as a sweet treat with a cup of tea or coffee. They're one of my favourite things to make, and this is my go-to recipe that I've been using to cook them in the oven for years. It's so easy and requires no melting of chocolate. Best of all, cooking them in your air fryer results in the fudgiest brownies ever, with that classic crunchy chewy top and all that oozing chocolatey goodness underneath. If you want to see more of my air fryer videos, remember to hit that subscribe button. It's totally free. And by hitting the little notification bell icon too, you'll be notified when a new video is released. Right, onto these brownies. Now you probably saw me cook these in my review of the Kosori Jewel Blaze air fryer, which has an additional bottom element and is brilliant for baking. In this video, I'm going to show you exactly what I did, but I'm also going to give you the instructions for cooking the brownies in a regular air fryer too. We're going to start with 120 grams of butter that's been melted and left to cool. To this, add 120 grams of caster sugar, 100 grams of soft light brown sugar, and one tablespoon of oil. Using an electric hand mixer, whisk this for several minutes to dissolve as much of the sugar into the butter as possible. There's quite a lot of sugar here because we're not going to be melting down chocolate, remember, which of course contains sugar. We're just going to be using raw cocoa. So just be patient and do the best you can. Next, add two large eggs. These should be at room temperature and a teaspoon of vanilla. Again, using your hand mixer, whisk until the mixture becomes thick, pale and a bit foamy. This is going to take a few minutes. Now sift in 70 grams of plain flour, 50 grams of unsweetened cocoa. I like using Cadbury's Bourneville because it's a bit lighter and I'm not a big fan of dark chocolate and just a pinch of salt. Fold this in until it's just combined. Be careful not to over mix it. I'm going to fold in 100 grams of white chocolate chips, but you could add whatever you like. Chocolate chips, chopped nuts, a little bit of both. The choice is yours. I'm going to cook this first batch in my Kosori Jewel Blaze. I've lined a non-stick square cake tin, which externally is 22 by 23 centimeters, but the internal cake dimensions are just 20 by 20 centimeters. After pouring the mixture in and leveling it off, I'm going to make a handle out of foil so I can easily lift the tin in and out of the air fryer basket. Now my jewel blaze has an additional bottom element which is going to cook these brownies quickly. I'm putting them on the bake setting at 160 degrees Celsius, that's 320 degrees Fahrenheit for 25 minutes. Well that looks perfect. As with all brownies, I'm going to leave these to set and cool completely in the tin. These are amazing, moist, chewy, but perfectly cooked through, just how I like them. Right, onto my second batch, which I'm going to cook in my regular Ninja air fryer. The mixture is the same, but the baking process is slightly different. First of all, remove the crisper plate. We're not going to be using that. You'll need a baking tin to fit your air fryer model. I'm going to use one of these foil containers that I bought from Amazon. They are 21.4 centimeters by 16 centimeters. They're bigger than the usual containers you get from the takeaway and they fit the Ninja 400 beautifully. Pop the foil container into the basket and push it right down into all the corners to mold the foil into shape. It'll end up fitting perfectly. 
Now remove the foil container and place the basket back into the air fryer. We want to get the metal base of the air fryer drawer hot. We're going to preheat by setting the unit to 200 degrees Celsius, that's 390 degrees Fahrenheit, for 5 minutes. While that's preheating, I'm going to spray the container with a bit of oil and place a square of baking paper inside before pouring the mixture in and again using a strip of foil to make a handle. Drop it in, be careful the air fryer is hot. Close the drawer straight away and then using the air fryer's bake function, cook at 180 degrees Celsius for the first 10 minutes, then reduce to 160 degrees Celsius for another 30. That looks great. This time I'm going to leave these to set and cool completely in the drawer. Once again, these are tremendous. Because the Ninja lacks the bottom element that the Kosori Jewel Blaze has, the tops are crisp and the bottoms are gooier still. And they are equally delicious. And as I like to follow a balanced diet, I make a point of eating these in twos, or some other even number.